Um, if, uh, yeah, as you all don't mind, expand. I could very quickly interject. I'm actually very familiar with uh, Fukuyama's notion just because his concepts were put in the foreword of the introduction of capitalism realism by Mark Fisher. And oh, as, much, true, uh, yeah, as yeah. much as I don't um, you know, fully agree with those concepts, I don't think they're incompatible with Evola's font because other than the fact that they are semi on opposite sides of the philosophical and political spectrum, uh, the notion that the world ended around 9-11 or the passing into the 21st century with liberal capitalism being instilled everywhere and all possible historical events already happening and becoming highlighted through forms of mass media. I think that's a very, like, uh, I need to find the word, anti-materialist notion. There we go. That's what I was going for. Uh, the idea that everything that could happen in the course of uh, human progress towards liberal democracy, whether liberal democracy is something that we are for or in our case against, um, like that's, that's the idea that maybe for some people of overall stagnation, for some people of growth, right? So if you're a pro-liberal democracy, you would think that we have accelerated towards this point and uh, this is the final ultimatum of history. Whereas if you're against liberal democracy, uh, like Evola would seem to be, and uh, indeed was, um, you arrive at this point where you think to yourself, okay, well, we have officially entered the dark age because we have descended so far towards that's materialism, true, yeah. as Fukuyama points out, right? Yeah, yeah, that's actually a good point. The liberal hegemony being so entrenched, true, that would fit in with the con of the long conception of the dark age. Yeah, so I found a way absolutely. to integrate the two. Uh, I think if Evola, if a thinker like Evola was alive today, he would probably come to a similar conclusion that Fukuyama did, that uh, the world has like come to a grinding halt where no significant events are made anymore because everything seems to be in a sort of standstill. We are at a post-Cold War period that is numb. The political, you know, the geopolitical landscape is numb. That's all there is to it. I mean, it's you know, it's interesting that you mentioned Mark Fisher because he actually has had a big influence me on me as well, especially his book Capitalist Realism, but also his writings on, you know, music and cultural criticism and, and subjects like that. And I, I, I generally see him classified as a Marxist, right? I mean, I think I think he's considered himself to be a Marxist, which. On its face, that shouldn't really be compatible with Evola's thought, but I actually do see a, I see a certain level of compatibility, though, especially in the in, in the um, which you mentioned with this concept of the Kali Yuga, but but also in his criticism that he offers of, of capitalism in that book, Capitalist Realism, and specifically its effects on, on culture. I mean, because he, what he says is that it's sort of leading to this uh, this cultural stagnation. Yeah, that's right? the funny thing, though. The far right There's and the far left. The philosophical far right and far left, heard, the extremist yeah. factions seem to share an overall hatred of uh, materialism. They just express it in completely different ways. 